Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Leos, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Guardian Angels Tarot, um, Messages Tarot, and then I will pull you a card from my Energy Oracle deck. So, Leo, let's see what we got for you. So Leo, this is for you. The five of water. You're kind of disappointed about something. Whatever it is, is about something to do with the past. You have a lot of regrets and you're crying over spilt milk. We got the page of earth. I don't even know how to see this card. What was this one here? Maybe you're overcoming this situation, the sadness. I got the page of earth. Let's keep going, okay? I don't know. Maybe you got some kind of message that made you sad or made you have some kind of regret. My back, oh gosh. I take acupuncture. My appointment is not till later on down the week. I don't take pills. <laughs> oh my goodness. The seven of earth here. Slow in coming. You're waiting for the finances. You need to have patience. The three of air. Maybe you're feeling sad over some message that you heard from not too long ago. Um, maybe you got some message saying that somebody else was involved in your situation ship or your relationship. Because the three of air is about heartbreak and someone else being involved. We got the seven of air. You feel very betrayed. Feel betrayed. The two of fire. You planning something. But listen up. Whatever it is that you're planning. Make sure it's good stuff you're trying to put out there. They got this thing called karma. What goes around comes around. What you put out, you get back. Okay? So make sure whatever plans you're making. Now, I've been told that we could be, you like say if someone does me wrong, I can do them wrong back and it will cancel out the karma or cancel out because I can be someone's karma if they've done to me, you know? But I don't know. But just make sure it's the right plans. Now, um, the, we're in a seven year. 2023 is a seven year. So this year here, a lot of people experienced a lot of loss, injury, and they gained a lot of wisdom, okay, this year here. I listened to this guy called GG33, and the information I'm telling you here is stuff that I learned from him, okay? Um, next year, 2024, it's an eight-year. It's a year of karma. I want you guys to start thinking, okay? What you put out, you will receive. I keep telling you, I tell you guys all the time, you know, be careful. We make our own lives. Huh? We make our own road. We pave the road for us, for 
ourselves. And without knowing it, sometimes we think negative thoughts and we put negativity out into the universe. And even if, you know, the intent wasn't there, you know, like sometimes we think about ourselves in a negative way. That's negative thoughts. That's what we're putting out. So when you give out negative, you get back negative. So just know, you know, I mean, I've, I've played the get even game before. Believe me, I sure have. And I think I balanced out that karma, you know. Eye for eye, right? Not tooth for tooth, ain't that what it say? <laughs> anyway, Daddy, you deep in your head worried about this money. You're doing some self-evaluation here right now. I got the hermit. Stop worrying about it. You need patience, okay? You, you need patience. You're thinking about the past, but you're trying to hurry something up. Just be patient. You got the hermit. You're doing some meditation or some self-evaluating. You're finding the answers within. And now you got to make a decision. Two of air. Then you got the eight of air. You got a lot of confusion and self-doubt over a situation. Now, this was a situation you most likely put yourself in. And now you got to make a decision. Which way do I go? Do I go that way or do I go that way? You're indecisive. Maybe you're even avoiding. And you're acting like if there's no problem. But there's either a lot of arguing. This is the eight of air. A lot of arguing. Or, in a or you're in a situation where you feel trapped. And you feel like there's no way to get out. There is always a way. You might have to plan it. But there's always a way. You have free will. Then we have the night of water. This is about romance and drama. You got some drama in the romantic department going on. Well, that's how it started. Huh? We got the night of water. You're very emotional. You're very focused on something. Then you got the queen of water here. This could be a cancer. A Cancer, a Scorpio, or a... <laughs> a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces. I couldn't think of the third one. My goodness. And there's some ending here. There's an ending here. You're pretty focused on it. And there's drama going on in the relationship. But there is a, there's an ending coming. You got the Eight of Earth. You got the Queen of Water. And you got the Release card. You no longer need to live in your self-imposed prison, you know. You know that. All right. If you got the ball in your court. You got the six of earth, the nine of fire, and the magician. Darlings, you can find the balance you need. There's an ending coming. And I say there's a great new beginning waiting for you. I know you're going through some struggles right now. You're doing really good. You're doing excellent. You're doing awesome. But we got the six of earth, we got the nine of fire, and we got the magician. The six of earth to me is about balance, financial, maybe, you know, you're going to finally find balance. There's a change coming. There's an ending and a beginning. You're very resilient and you're the magician. You have everything you need to manifest all that you desire. You have the six of earth, the nine of fire, and the magician. You're magical. There is an ending coming, though. There is an ending. You're pretty tied up inside. You have the mindset of lack and you're thinking about the past. You're thinking about this energy here. The broken heart and that um, energy, that queen of water. That water energy. You know, you're staying up, you're not, you know, you're worrying and you're not sleeping well. You're not taking care of yourself. When you're not taking care of yourself, you cannot manifest. 
when you don't have balance. You know, you're blocking all the beautiful things that are coming in or that are supposed to come in. But you're going to have clarity and you're going to have some creative ideas. You're going to become enthusiastic and motivated, if not already. And I hope you guys heard me. But you're going to have clarity. I know sometimes my voice goes down. I thought this mic would help, but it apparently doesn't. <laughs> ah, so we got the Knight of Air and we got the Page of Fire. And you are creative. You're ready to get into action. Things work out for you. Okay? Is it, you can be ahead for a while, but you it's only it depends on you how long you stay there. It's totally dependent on you how long you stay there. Patience. Peaceful presence, letting go of desperation. This card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient. Be open and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind. Broaden your perspective and let them come through. Let them come through. <laughs> the affirmation for this card is, I pursue my goals with open receptivity. I am patient and flexible, willing to receive in many surprising and imaginative ways. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon. Bye, and don't forget it's up to you how long you stay caught up here, okay? The ball is truly in your court.